What's up you guys? So I showed these to you in the last video. Real good pizzas, but I didn't show you one cooked. My dog is all about it. Oh, it's all over the microwave. Oh my god, they look so delicious. So scrumptious. So I'm about to have just a little bit of that before Carbolite, before the gym. So this is what spring in Indiana looks like in case you're wondering. Leg warmers, puffer vests, scarves. It's cute. All right, so this is my pre-workout Carbolite. When there's like half of a um, normal cookie on top, it's just like a Toll House cookie and some sprinkles. So it is so warm in Indiana today, I could genuinely wear shorts and like I could put the top down on my Jeep. I just stopped at my P.O. Box and Quest sent me their new flavor, finally. Um, it went to my old address first, so I had to get it sent to this address. Thank you, Ryan, for sending them to me. And Okay, it's their new flavor. It's like the mocha chocolate chip, I think. It's like a week late. I feel bad because they said to post about it on social media, like that they'd be sending some of us bars, and I'm like a week late, but oh, there's nothing I could do. Just like starting a new day, you get to wake up and bite the newest Quest Bar flavor before anyone else. Be careful though, eating the mocha chocolate chip Quest Bar may cause bouts of wishing for First sunlight, a steamy cup of joe, and the continued joy of a day full of possibility. New Mocha Chocolate Chip Quest Bar isn't the, just a new flavor. Quest Bars are the only true high protein, low carb protein bars. We use an actual fiber. Others use fake fibers, meaning they're not really low carb. We use high quality, um, rich protein isolates, not concentrates, to cut back on unnecessary ingredients like extra sugar and fat. Mocha Chocolate Chip is sweetened with stevia and Exritithol only, no, I don't know how to say the word, no sucralose. We have the most accurate nutrition labels. Check our labor results where we beat out our other, we beat out other brands in numerous, in a number of categories. Enough talk from us, we can't wait to hear if you enjoy the mocha chocolate chip quest bar. Nom, nom. So exciting. I'm definitely having one of these tonight on my Carbolite. They look bomb. I'm sure by this point you've already seen that on my Instagram if you follow me there too, but anyway. What's up you guys? Welcome to my leg workout. This was yesterday, so Friday the 20, what was yesterday? Friday the 24th, I don't even know. 25th maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway, I switched it up to sumo deadlifts um, for like half of my sets of deadlifts now. I just feel like I feel the burn a little bit more in my glutes. If I'm doing sumo, I'm still not super comfortable with them, so I'm just kind of easing my way into it, and I was feeling the burn a lot in my glutes, so went ahead and added in some abductors, and then after abductors, or we were doing abductors and adductors, there's really no particular reason. Adductors aren't, so these ones, like the inner thigh one, aren't usually an exercise that I like really recommend to people. Um, I just don't necessarily feel like they're that effective and necessary totally um and if I do adductors I usually do them with like a um a big not a bozy ball an exercise ball and I squeeze the ball in between my thighs but anyway next I just did some seated hamstring curls just really making sure that at this point in my prep I'm squeezing on every single rep and really just controlling the movement um both down and up I've said it before but you kind of have to think about it like, a, like your body is like a rubber band and when you stretch the rubber band, you stretch it open very slowly and then you bring it closed very slowly. You don't stretch it open and let it fling shut. Um, that's how I try to think of every single exercise when I do them. So you saw me do glute hip thrusts, really squeezing at the top, stiff leg deadlifts um, with the dumbbells just to work on that glute hammy tie-in that is coming along quite nicely. That's one feature on myself that I feel pretty confident about um, my legs leaned out. I've had pretty lean legs before prep, but 
they leaned out pretty quickly on prep. Um, finished off with some glute kickbacks, I believe. This is the last exercise that I did. Um, I did calf raises, but I did not record them because they're just seated calf raises, standing calf raises. But regardless, I really hope you guys enjoyed the workout and are enjoying the rest of the video slash enjoyed earlier. Okay, I'm getting awkward. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put that quest bar on there. You should. I wonder if I have room for a. I yeah. have half of it. If you have room. No. Oh, I have a whole box. I don't need. I'm trying to figure out if I have any. I don't think I have any carbs left. What's up, you guys? I am getting ready to go grocery shopping. I think. I'm going to get some food and then come back and make my next meal. I'm kind of hungry, but I have a very specific list of what I need to get at the grocery store, so I shouldn't stray too far from that. Um, I know they say, like, don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry, but when you're on prep and you can't eat that stuff anyway, it's like, it doesn't even matter. I'm just a little hungry, but grocery store is really close, so I'm going to go run and grab some stuff, and I will show you what I get. It's going to be probably, like, some peak week type of stuff, special stuff low carb, I don't know, not peak week, next week, this coming, this this week right now that I'm on, um, and then because peak week starts at higher carb and then like probably tapers down, but anyway, we'll see, sorry that my life is really boring and um, I feel like all my videos are just like me talking in the car and or right here and at the gym, but I'll see you guys in the next clip. You guys, so I just got home from the store. I'm just gonna show you what I got. And I had these in my car. They are the new flavor of Quest Bars that Quest sent me. They're mocha chocolate chip. And oh my gosh, they are my favorite flavor easily. Um, they are a little bit higher and they have four grams of net carbs, which like if you're not prepping for a show, I guess you can count those, but I count the full grams because um, they're still carbs, like they still affect your body. Um, so yeah. They're higher in carbs than normal ones. Normal ones still usually only have like 20 grams of carbs, but these are 24, I think. Pretty sure, but they're still really delicious. Sorry that I'm hunched over It's Anyway, those are really delicious. Did not get them at Kroger. I had them sent to me. Picked up one of the Mexican bowls that I love. Picked up a spaghetti squash, a real spaghetti squash, not a butternut squash, like last time. Picked up some more sparkling water. Got some organic rice. I just like getting it pre-made so I don't have to worry about it and this is like lower in sodium. Um, I picked up this one that I'm gonna try to eat first because it's just got like normal amount of sodium. And then next week I'll be paying more attention to my sodium intake. So these will last me forever, so. Um, picked up a couple of combat crunch bars. Yeah, they're still higher in carb, but they're huge like these make me so full so I can still manage to fit one of these into my macros um, Because they're so freaking filling so Yeah Got some blackberries Some fajita chicken to put with my chicken bowl Got cinnamon Black beans I got black beans and rice and Chicken that way I can kind of make my own bowl. So I picked up ground turkey and chicken I'm just gonna end up baking the chicken and that is all that I got So that's my little grocery haul for you guys and that's actually gonna go ahead and wrap up this video because I feel like it's Probably all over the place and or boring um, and the only thing I'm gonna do is like meal prep this and that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!